going to the saloon like very often right so <laughs> you're afraid of the the clippers that that might have corona and put it on yeah. your <laughs> your stash <laughs> you know what you know what actually i i wasn't afraid before but the very first time i went to the saloon and i and i came back i was having a little bit of cold okay so it was during the speak time so i was like thinking okay it's going to be corona then uh, in day or two i was okay Okay. So from then on, I was like a little, not me, but uh, all of my family members. They were very afraid that if I go to saloon, I may get caught. <laughs> yeah, I am afraid for you too. So, Janesh, welcome back. Um, where are you in India? I am in Chennai. Uh, Chennai is a city in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is a province. Tamil so, Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have to send Tamil me the link. So I can pronounce it properly. Yeah. Cool. Are you guys under lockdown? Uh, not really. Uh, lockdown is not fully effective now. So it's been uh like a, re- a relaxing phase by phase. So currently it's not a total lockdown, but uh, there's a curfew uh during the night. What what so hours? What's your curfew? What? It's night? from ten uh, to six night. So night ten p.m. to six a.m. basically when you're sleeping yes yes so <laughs> there there shouldn't be a five people together on the road so something so, like that so what happens what measures are in place so if they find me oh my god this bird wow can oh, you it's tell? it's just a what are they what do they do if they do find you in the street during curfew this mouthful uh, actually nothing so actually nothing so it's just a measure to make people stay in the house but it's not so much strict as it was like uh, might be like 3 uh, to 4 months back when it sta- all started like and uh, i think even even more back i guess uh, like 6 months back so when it was at peak so at that time it was uh, uh, the the lockdown was when it was strict uh, there was a huge uh, strict measure so uh, people were beaten up you know that i i guess so people were beaten up by over videos uh, yeah 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 what are the numbers that you okay. have so it's um, uh, the total numbers in uh, tamil nadu is uh, uh, 830000 total infected and mm-hmm. uh, recovered is uh, more than that so it's 840000 have o- or totally recovered that's cool so, and uh, yeah death? and uh, sorry death how many people have died yeah death is uh, i think uh, i think it's less than 10 uh, 15k i guess so it's very less actually 15000 yeah. okay okay do you guys have testing stations everywhere how are people learning that yeah so testing have- yeah testing stations are located everywhere in almost all the uh, uh, hospitals and there are uh, the scanning labs right so blood test centers and uh, these hospitals are private hospitals and government hospitals so everybody has taken charge of uh, the i mean the screening centers and uh, there are many centers like uh, even the uh, when if you make a appointment they will come to your home and uh, they'll make a screening for you okay wait so you said testing stations are at hospitals and screening centers uh, these screening centers are they makeshift centers that they made up with tents uh, where they so were you know no no it was it is center new center so these are the uh, labs where uh, they take the blood test right so there are separate labs you go for uh, blood tests so what what other measures are in place are people forced to wear masks are you guys forced to sanitize everywhere you go social distancing yes. and what how are restaurants and other companies dealing with the so curfew? so government has strictly told uh, all the citizens to wear masks and it is mandatory to wear masks mm-hmm. and if there is no mask there's a fine of 1000 rupees uh, in public so uh, and social distancing of course it is uh, it's been mentioned as necessary it's been very difficult so really it's not taking place if you see uh, because it's it's really really difficult to the people of like uh, 1.3 billion people yeah. Uh, population yeah and uh, and uh, if you see on the roads or wherever you go there is always people around so it's really a uh, very difficult thing to do social yeah. distancing even if you go to uh, but but it was it is a successful story i would say in india because 
they had conducted exams they had conducted uh, uh, polls they had conducted many things and uh, there were there were social gatherings even after covid and it was successful so in many, there was failures in the beginning but then wait, uh, wait. That, what, do you, what do you mean there were social gatherings and it was successful what was successful uh i think there were polls in between like uh, there were polls which was happening in between but they were taking and testing people to see what the infection rate was no no there were what do you mean polls what do you mean i don't understand elections elections oh dude you can't imagine the uh, amount of people voting here for the elections so they were standing in the queues and there was there was social distancing and uh, people voted and there wasn't much any uh, Uh, move i mean uh, spread during the election so so that was also a, a very good successful thing that the government carried out so what home remedies are you guys using uh so so as soon as uh, indian mothers right so when they hear about a, a small disease that has been uh, in the neighborhood right so even if it's a small uh, flu which is going on in the neighborhood they they take the turmeric okay they tell take the turmeric water and they spray it across the house outside the house everywhere so <laughs> just so they mix it in water and they just spray it all over the place yeah they they just spray it outside of the house right. and you know yeah so there has been this uh, practice of uh, using cow dung okay so there's cow dung and this mm-hmm. cow dung this it's mixed in wa- uh, water mm-hmm. and uh, they spray it outside of the house so outside i mean the front of the house yeah so that normally repels flies and bacteria and stuff yes yes so that's a traditional thing so uh, we weren't been following that uh, like after like after in this in this modern days but then after this pandemic and all this has come up so we obviously back to form <laughs> home remedies are people drinking uh of course the ginger co- uh, concoction which we oh. take so right. yeah, ginger concoction and then uh, turmeric also is used along with milk so hot yeah. milk you use turmeric and pepper yes 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 um, yeah they're out there using yes. that for weight loss tanish did you know <laughs> the turmeric and uh, pepper and i know that they will use it in uh, hot water with honey but uh, not with no. milk because it, milk, it increases your weight the paprika one is for clearing your skin and doing oh tanish oh uh so actually there was another uh, i don't know the name in english so might be i'll give you after the video so there there's sure. a yeah there's a, a concoction which is locally been uh, given so it is it's especially for the lung flu okay so sure, that's yeah. been yeah so that's been uh, given across the state uh, by the government for free uh, is so it helping and, um, people yeah it was helping it was helping you can see the effect like immediately because uh, uh, that was proved effective for normal cold itself and uh, this was especially for the uh, the chest flu right so the 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 flum which you get in the in, in mm-hmm. the lungs so mm-hmm. there was a one person a volunteer who has been appointed for every street so uh-huh. that was one of the best measures actually to do what so person, to to uh, issue out to the monitor corruption. to monitor issue whatever so, so uh, he was the sole one and just sit in a tent at the top of the streets and wait for no people. no 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 <laughs> so uh, what what he or she has to do is uh, they come in the morning so you come uh, she come he or she comes to the every house in the morning mm-hmm. and uh, she knocks the door and she asks for if everybody is okay uh, and if anybody has symptoms uh, mm-hmm. she she says the symptoms uh, so these are symptoms if anybody has the symptoms and uh, so as time goes on like we are used to that person so we know that person so she's been coming here for 6 months now so every day she comes in the morning she asks and uh, no. and uh, you're used to yeah. this person you're going to treat her like family you're going to offer her tea in the morning you're going to infect no. her oh. no no they are very no very very cautious about this they don't, they don't take anything from are they the wearing house. a hazmat suit are they wearing like a mask and gloves and stuff they are wearing mask and so they are not wearing the entire thing but they are wearing yeah. mask and gloves okay. uh, so she is the one who is uh, supposed to offer you the uh, I mean uh, the concoction thing which is provided by the government and uh, she advises to the nearest center so she doesn't administer anything other than that she uh, advises the nearest center to go if there is any uh, infection or if she finds any sim- symptoms she is supposed to inform the person uh, okay. who is on the uh, top or uh, the, the next level so so that's how the measures had been carried out okay. and uh, hold on so hold on especially hold. for yeah 
yeah okay, okay on yeah this is especially for uh, the uh, we in places where there is no reach of uh, uh, immediate medical care so th th they they those right. people will be very, really benefited uh, from that because mm -hmm. they don't know where to reach and where to go if if there is an infection or if there is a symptom and they don't really know what is the symptom mm. actually and and is india trying to develop their own vaccine yes they did they did develop their own vaccine so actually there were three vaccines that were developed uh, okay, okay and, india yeah yeah so two of them which were uh, which they had confidence on uh, mm. i i am not really sure like what was the confidence uh, why it was uh, chosen but uh, these two were the chosen vaccines and among among them one of them is be, being chosen to uh, be given for all the uh, people in india Mm -hmm. uh, so from the 16th uh, on uh, the vaccine is being administered to the people 16th of what 16th of uh, february oh okay yeah. so it's done with the yeah. trials and the trials and uh, i think uh, the the uh, medical workers the frontline workers are going to take it even prior so i think they have already started giving giving the uh, frontline workers and the uh, i mean the doctors uh, and everybody uh, already and how are you feeling about the vaccine are you going to take it and is the vaccine going to be mandatory uh i think i am feeling positive uh i'm feeling positive about the vaccine because uh, uh because it's been it's been very difficult time for india and uh, you know like every other country mm. uh so for the vac vaccine is a, definitely a positive thing uh so i will definitely take it so even if you uh, are not willing or willing uh it is it is going to become a mandatory thing because uh, now how it is like for we have a e pass to travel from one state to another now so i think uh, you have for, a uh, e pass e pass yes to so travel you need from to have e to the other yes okay so if i i move from tamil nadu or tamil to your... to karnataka like bangalore from chennai to bangalore yeah uh, i need to have an e pass who because i'm check, moving from one state to another pass? so there are patrols who are standing in the borders like uh, the, uh, the provincial borders. borders yes yes so mm. you need to you can mm. have it on your phone so it's a very easy thing so you just apply yeah, yeah. it online you say the reason and uh, uh, you you need to give your id proof uh, uh, your scanned id proof on the phone and then you get an e pass uh, they approve the e pass if it's really a necessary thing to travel oh as i was to say you have to have a valid reason to want to cross the the provincial border yes, right yes yes you have to you have to yes it's going to become us if only if you have taken a vaccine then you will be allowed to travel so that's going to be the future now What? right so you can expect that and i think that is going to be true for all the international travel also uh so that's yeah, where it, Chinese, uh, don't say things world, like that yeah. i'm not ready to hear it <laughs> no that's where i think the world is heading to i guess no <laughs> so the, it's going to be a vaccine year we know that so 2021 is a vaccine year so what we are heading to is if you are only taking the vaccine year, then you can fly to another country so or else so i think in europe uh, they have already given the list of uh, names like uh, the countries they start to share the list of names who haven't uh, taken the vaccines to other countries so when they uh, actually come to the airport your uh, id is scanned and they immediately know if you had taken the vaccine or not so that's how it's going to be i think it's a positive thing i, don't, I, don't I think care. Uh, i don't care how you feel about the vaccine <laughs> <laughs> so what's been the biggest change that corona has brought on for you that you have enjoyed or you have observed and you were like that is weird me for me personally being locked down being in lockdown so uh i explored the gardener in me actually so i i, I was like <laughs> green thing so i i became a real farmer now so <laughs> so That's fantastic uh, yeah so so, so i yes yes so i <laughs> i used to have a lot of uh, interest in doing this gardening things and yes. growing stuff in, at the top of the terrace and everything so uh, i explored a lot about that going through the youtube videos and exploring more and so now i have a yeah so i have a very small garden on the top of the terrace and uh, i grow my vegetables like at least very few vegetables and what uh, what vegetables have grown lady fingers uh eggplant and then uh, potato nice yeah, yeah and right. uh, and few other vegetables no that's nice 
All right. Yeah. Thank you, Janesh. Um, 